Every bride dreams of the perfect wedding day. But for a $5,000 budget boost, would she hand over the planning to her groom? If she's ready and willing to throw the dice, then it's I do. But at what price? It's just the wedding, it's one day. It's just, a, people take three years to plan a wedding. That's other people, not me. Pick a dress and be done with it. It is not that hard. It is not that easy. I think we have to discuss the money matter. Ah, uh, no, I'm good. I'm sold. Have you ever seen a blue rose? Yeah. You have? No. Does this face look like a face of a person that's worried? This one does. Weddings are a groom who knows his own style. Weddings are a bride whose only job is to walk down the aisle. Weddings are spending that will wipe away your smile. Meet newlyweds Leonard and Patricia for an additional $5,000 towards their budget. Patricia gave total control over the planning of their wedding to her free-spending fiancé. Is her gamble on her groom's decision-making too much of a risk? Will his overreaching ideas outstrip the budget, even with the extra money? Or will he see the other side of the coin and keep the costs in line? My name is Leonard, and I'm a 26-year-old mill worker. I met Patricia, a teacher, six years ago at a mutual friend's party. I quickly realized that our relationship was worth a gamble. This is the story of how I planned our bling wedding of the century. I planned the best wedding party ever. It was amazing. That's because I was there. <laughs> He may have planned their wedding, but does he have a plan to pay for it? Let's turn back the clock and watch as this groom tries to shine in the glare of his big and flashy ideas. I really didn't think I needed any help with his wedding planning, but it was always nice to have a professional like David to turn to for advice when I needed it. Meet wedding planner David Connolly. With his nine years of experience, he hopes to help groom Leonard hold the line money-wise, all the while without compromising the creative. My role as a wedding planner is to fuse different opinions and personalities into one thought and offer my practical suggestions, expert opinion to groom to make sure his day is his dream day and hopefully do it under budget. Congratulations. Thank you. Congratulations, Leonard. Thank you. Can't wait to find out about your plans, and they are his plans, which is a little unorthodox, right? Oh, because very. for $5,000, you have given up all control of your wedding. Yes. Which is not something that's usually done, so I'm wondering why a bride would do that. Because she wants it done right. Those are your words, not mine. He has confidence, though. That's important. Huh. I hope so. So you think it'll be easier because you're the one making the decisions? She's too scared to do the extravagant thing. She's always middle ground, not me. And is bigger usually better? Yeah, like if something, like for if him, yeah. yeah. Oh, bigger is always better, right? More expensive is always better with him. Yeah, OK. And not for me. With him, bigger is always better. And I'm really nervous that our wedding plans are in his hands, because I have a feeling he's going to go out and waste the extra $5,000. Who's paying for this? Just the two of us. OK. We're, that's why we've got to keep it in check. Well, sure. we got a uh, house to pay for. we got a house to furnish. We've got lots of other stuff after the wedding to uh, think about. I'll worry about. about that when we get there. So you're moving into a new house? Yes. In the same year that you're getting married? Yes. yes. Nice, isn't it? Uh-huh, see? That's what I he's got to keep in mind. What's your biggest worry? <laughs> that Mr. Confidence here thinks it's no big deal to plan a wedding. How hard could it possibly be? How could it possibly be? Really? <laughs> it's just the wedding, it's one day. It's just, people take three years to plan a wedding. That's other people, not me. Oh. You're yeah. getting married how many times? Once. Do you want a big party that everybody's gonna remember or just something that people are gonna walk in and say, oh yeah, we went to so-and-so's wedding, it was a wedding. Do Is I that want, what you want? Do I want a house or do I wanna live in a cardboard box after? I take the house in the middle ground wedding. Well, let's not worry about that now. We'll worry about that when we get there. But so you gotta worry about that now so that when you get there, you're not. You give me control, did you not? Get off the ship. Let me take control of it. With you at the helm, I'm kind of worried. I know I have a life jacket on, a big one. The question is will the $5,000 be a big enough life jacket to save this budget? How many guests? 250, 300, somewhere in between. Who's going to help you in planning this? Oh, I my little brother Adrian and. He's like me. He likes to spend and worry about it later. And that's why I love him. 
but that's why I'm nervous. I'm hoping his dad gets involved because his dad can keep him under control. Oh, so I have that's faith. good to know. Big yeah. note on that. <laughs> I Call have faith. dad. Yep. I have faith that his dad will kind of curtail some of the craziness that he likes to get into. So we're gonna go ahead and plan it. And okay. we have to do that without you. Yes, and if you know what's good for you, you gotta live with me after, so. There is that, for the rest of your life. Yes, the rest of my life. For better or for worse, for richer or for poorer. Richer or for poorer. Mm -hmm. yeah. For now, or until Leonard makes a bad decision on the wedding planning. I envision my wedding day something simple, beachy, have all the, my closest friends and family on a beach, somewhere tropical, beautiful, sunny, simple. So, this planning thing that you think is very easy is actually easy as long as you're following lists. Ah. It's just a list. It's not okay. that long. That's a good attitude. <clears throat> Let's start. What's the vision? Well, my vision is something, you know, flashy, lights everywhere. I just want it to be a big show, you know, blinged out everything. And as long as it has my favorite color blue, I don't care what I got to spend. It's just what I want. OK. Wow. So big one. What about the wedding dress? Well, I haven't gotten on that yet, but I know what I want, so it shouldn't be that hard. That's something we should get on really soon, because that's going to be harder than you think. Well, I mean, it can't be that hard. I got it under control. David's warning doesn't seem to be hitting home. Do you have a price set aside for what you want to spend? Well, whatever it costs, I'll spend it, because we got to spend what we got to spend, right? No. No, Leonard, we don't. That we don't. Leonard's go-for-broke attitude may cost him his bride's confidence. It sounds like there may be a budget battle up ahead. Patricia just may ground her groom at the beach if his elaborate imagination goes overboard. I'm gonna get Patricia, is that okay? I'm not really worried about my budgeting skills because I work, I make money, and it's my wedding, and it's my house, and if I have to spend money to make it look good, that's what I'm gonna do, and I'm not worried about it whatsoever. Welcome back. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Now all I have to know is how much you have, okay. so I will happily take your budget. Yeah, go, show them. Thank you, sir. Will this budget work with the groom's vision, or will it cost him in the end? So to this budget, we're adding the $5,000 budget boost. With that in mind, I have a surprise for you. You've been really good to give up all of these choices, so okay. I'm going to give you a choice back. Oh. Okay. Okay. So that's what these boxes are, in fact. I've randomly selected three items from the list of okay. choices. You get to pick one, and you get control over that one item. Is dress one of them? I can't tell you the options. Oh, okay. I want the dress. So I'm going to channel dress, dress, dress. Can you get out of here. I get control, remember? Okay. We'll go right down the middle. Mm. Let's see what you pick. Okay. Okay. Coming up. I'm wondering, what's all this gonna cost? It doesn't matter, as long as Patricia Dad. looks good. Dad, would you want to stop worrying about this cost? Like, like we know yeah, that's gonna make her happy. Someone again. has to keep control of the budget. 400 guests. You can't invite Auntie Pearl yeah. without Auntie Sue, and yes. you can't invite Auntie Jane without, without Cousin Bob. Yes. And the list just kept going yeah. on and on. A I've wedding known day? these friends for so long. Yeah. They've known you. But I don't know them. Mm. Okay. Bride Patricia is worried that her groom Leonard won't tow the budget line when it comes to their wedding plans. She'd rather keep money in the bank for their future home. So to get a $5,000 financial cushion, she's agreed to hand over the planning to her fiancé. She's relying on wedding planner David to keep a watchful eye on Leonard's spending and help him prioritize important items like her wedding dress. Plus, she can take comfort that she'll have control over one selected item. Pieces. Okay. You have one thing to do. Do not mess it up. You have hundreds of things to do. Don't mess those up. Patricia gets her say on the centerpieces, but her preference for a simple beach theme will most certainly be at odds with Leonard's extravagant choices. I definitely did not want to go flower shopping, but David insisted that I get her over with, so I decided to bring Adrian along to suffer with me. Hey, life's rough. That's how it is, planning a wedding. I see myself holding a beautiful bouquet, something simple like a couple of white calla lilies. I don't know what to expect from Leonard. I mean, the only flowers I've ever gotten from him were roses on her very first Valentine's Day. Patricia's centerpiece choice is not the only item that has flowers. 
And when it comes to bouquets, Leonard is no shrinking violet. This is our groom. Hi, and this is the groom's nice best man, brother. Nice to meet you. Yeah, Adrian, we're gonna do uh, bouquets, right? Colors? I like blue. Does your bride want blue flowers for a bouquet? We want blue. We want blue. They you want, want blue. blue. Patricia likes roses, so blue roses. <laughs> and just a big bouquet of blue roses. Have you ever seen a blue rose? Yeah. You have? No. No. Well, David nipped that in the bud. You have to spray them. Like, you literally have to dye roses to make them blue. Blue roses would look like this uh, color here. Uh, but of course, I don't have any, but I do have some neutral oh, Vandella roses. Oh, look at the Vandella roses. Vandella means, in English, buy me. How much are blue roses? They're approximately $10 a stem. Oh, That's not bad. bad. It's cheap. Not With bad. the labor and all, you're looking about $400 a bouquet. Well, it's blue. It's what I want. It's four hundred dollars. And how much? How much is a yes. how much is a timeless, classy? If you go gorgeous... something like this, about one hundred and eighty, two hundred dollars for a bride's bouquet. If you go neutral, do you know what I heard? Half. That's what I heard. It's half the money for a twice as pretty bouquet. Which I'm sure pretty will complement her dress. Pretty stunning, timeless. And when you look at pictures in ten years, you're not going to be like, "What are those blue denim flowers? I'm not at a rodeo." I guess they can make it work, but there's got to be at least something blue, a ribbon, something. Yeah. We can do blue ribbon. We can't can accent with blue ribbon. Yes, we can. What do you think of the crystals? Those are too small. We need something bigger. That's our model. Bigger, well, better. Well, these are, are, these are small, but I don't uh -huh. really recommend them because they're really huge, and I call them knockers. Wow, we like knockers. Now. I love knockers. Some decorum, please. You don't think those are too big in scale for this? Don't you look at the knockers first? You always got to look at the knockers, knockers first. first. Stupid question. You're right. The... Big knocker, doesn't look that great. This is perfect. Uh, I just want some more. It's perfect. Mini diamonds or crystals or whatever they are. Sure. Uh, and okay. that's fine, let's do this. I'm happy. You happy? I'm happy if you're happy, buddy. I'm happy. David, you happy? I'm so happy. Everybody's happy. That's it. Quickly before he changes his mind. I really wanted to get Patricia some amazing jewelry. This way, if I messed everything else up, she would forget about it as soon as she saw the jewelry. To me, jewelry is an afterthought. I mean, I like small, simple pieces. I just hope Leonard isn't focusing too much of our budget on the jewelry. It's just not a priority for me. Watching the bottom line is Leonard's dad. He's not easily blinded by the bling. What about over here? Look at these nice necklaces over here, and they're gold, too. Oh, yeah, that's pretty good. That's why you buy a baby at a baptism. That's how small it is. We gotta go bigger, Dad. Come over here. Look at these things. These are amazing. What Whoa. did you find there, Adrian? Can you see the bling? Like, it's not hitting your eyes already. You need, like, sunglasses. I think this is what I'm looking for. I'm wondering, what's all this gonna cost? It doesn't matter. As long as Patricia Dad. looks good. Dad, would you want to stop worrying about this cost? Like, like we know yeah, that's gonna make her happy. Someone again. has to keep control of the budget. This look like you need some help. Uh, yeah, we'd like to know some prices on some of these items. Do you have anything in mind here? I was looking at this bangle over here. The, this bangle is called our best bangle. It's four hundred and twenty dollars. Wow! Wow! <laughs> four hundred and twenty. Did you hear Is that, that kind of in your, oh your price range? Oh, yeah, it's, it's, we gotta it's get in the price range. That. What? Four twenty, and they're just getting started. This is a headband. It's two hundred and ten dollars. Hold on. So you're trying to tell me four hundred, two hundred. That's six hundred dollars. Yeah, but we need some earrings. Earrings. This is nice. These are one hundred and forty dollars. It's four times over budget. But you know what, Dad? At least Patricia's gonna look good. And if Patricia looks good, she's gonna be happy. And if Patricia's happy, I'm happy. So you know what? I think it's good. No, I think we should get the boxes. Let's take it. Well, we can gift wrap it for you too, if you'd like. And even give, is it for gift wrapping? Of course. Free See, gift free. wrapping. It's free, Dad. We... Well, at least we got something for free. Makes me a little bit happier, but not much. You know, when I seen Leonard go for three pieces of jewelry, you know what? I think it drove me crazy. I think Leonard's crazy spending that kind of money. It's unnecessary, and you know what? Who needs it anyway? It's a one-day wedding, and then it's over. Entertainment was very key for my wedding. And Adrian just knew some people, so I decided to go check him out. So I asked David and my dad to come along, and you know what? It was good. So you brought some responsible people along with you. That's good. Very responsible. I do think that entertainment is important, especially at an Italian wedding. But I'm worried to think of what Leonard's gonna do. And now with this $5,000 budget boost, I'm sure he's gonna go and book something over the top and something we normally couldn't afford. Over the top? Showgirls? Oh, they're the very picture of restraint. Hey, surprise! Where are you? Surprise! I like surprises. Seven, eight, one, uh. two. Three. If wedding planning doesn't work out as a career, David, perhaps Vegas has an opening. <laughs> You're wow. enjoying this too much, Dave. I am excited to be here, but I don't know why we're here. Well, Adrian. <laughs> 
knew someone that owned a company with dancing girls. Of course Adrian knew somebody with dancing girls. Could we see something that like you would do at a wedding? Yes. You guys come with me. Leonard, remember, you're about to be a married man. Go to the mirror and show them. So beautiful. So this is a perfect kind of segue from the dinner into the dance. Exactly. Wow. <laughs> this is worth it, just this five minutes right here. But we have to make sure we can afford it. Yes. Okay. I think we have to discuss the money matter. Ah, no, I'm good. I'm sold. But will your bride be sold when she sees all these beautiful women at her wedding? Let's leave these ladies rehearsing. Let's have a call. We're gonna have to see exactly how much it costs. Four dance will be a fourteen hundred with twenty-one minutes show with guest participation. Fourteen hundred dollars? I don't care how much it costs. You're telling me that this wouldn't just throw this wedding over the top? You're both right. We have to come up with some kind of agreement that either we just bite the bullet, we get amazing over the top, throw this wedding through the roof choreography and guest participation. Sure. And it's actually a really reasonable price. You know what? It's $1,400 that we'll find somewhere. Oh, <laughs> I can't it. believe I just said that. Oh, you suckered me into. Oh, wait. Oh, 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 David. What? What about me? What about three of them and me? I'm cheap. <laughs> Practically free. No. No. I think those showgirls are amazing. Must have. Must have. Can't afford. Can't afford. And thus my job as a wedding planner gets really exciting. Coming up. That is not only out of our budget entirely, but putting steel rods in a cake is um, something that we're not going to do. We had a cake topper. I think we had a heart, didn't we, with uh, the crystal heart with doves in it? Yes, we did. Yeah. Oh, you're good. I like this. I was there. Do I get married again? <laughs> <laughs> Bride Patricia wants to watch the bottom line when it comes to spending on her wedding. She feels the money is best spent on the new home she plans on sharing with her fiancé, Leonard. The problem is, Leonard's tastes are too rich for Patricia, so she's opting to get a $5,000 increase for her wedding budget. The catch is that she has to give up almost all control of the planning to do so. Does your bride want blue flowers for her bouquet? We want blue. We want blue. They you want. want blue. But Patricia's strategy may backfire. Leonard's laid-back attitude has led him to overspend and not prioritize the more important things on his list. Will the honeymoon be over before it begins? I wanted the best cake for my wedding, so David decided to take us to a bakery that he knew. Hello. Joseph, you're going to say David, how are you? I'm really good. good, good. This is Leonard, and this is Adrian, and we're here for some Adrian, how are you? wedding you magic. So uh, we can taste flavors while we're here. That's probably the biggest reason that we came on the job. Voila. Well, I'm not really interested in the flavors, so I just want the cake to look good. Well, someone seems to care about the flavor. Something like this, big and flashy. This is perfect. This is a fortune, right? Absolutely. How can we make this affordable? Well, we'll do about a three-tier cake. It's some nice crystals going around the tiers. Fine. Something like this, I'm happy. I'd be happy with a simple, inexpensive, single-tier cake. Some beachy touches would be nice, but I don't need anything fancy. No floof, no hoopla, something simple. I know Leonard likes blue, so we could probably get like something like this for the top. Yeah, that'd be real nice. Ah, now that's a rock-solid idea. Feel how heavy that is. Oh, I know, this is perfect. Do you know what cake is? People, when you see this, you're going to say, wow, this guy's got money. That's what we want to think. What would happen if you put that in a cake? Uh, it'll look beautiful. What would happen to the cake? It'll set in a little bit, so you see the top of the crystal. So you'd see just the very top of the crystal as it crushes the cake. Oh, well, we can adjust it. Maybe they can buy some, like, steel rods or reinforce it or something. How much is this? You've got $200 plus your reinforcement I'm going to take that steel. out of your hands because oh, clearly you're be grade steel. on some kind of crazy juice this morning. That is not only out of our budget entirely, but putting steel rods in a cake is um, something that we're not going to do. Wow. Okay, options. <laughs> Options. What Monograms options? are options. Like this See, one. like that one. Well, this is you good. Could, this like, got to go in the cake. You could wear that on your like tux on the day. Your initial and her initial, and it will be very personal. It will personalize the cake. And how much is this? Fifty dollars. Fifty dollars we can afford. And look how it catches the light. See? Oh, Do you want to like feel how light that is? Oh, oh, like a feather. This is pretty nice. I can okay. see myself in the crystals. See, this is in our budget. This you can buy it with your own money and Perfect. put it on your tux so we know who you are on the day. And um. Bye bye, cake topper. Bye bye, cake topper. I was excited to actually be able to put together the centerpieces. You know what, it was about time that I got to make some of the choices regarding this wedding. Patricia's friend Evelyn knows a florist personally. Hopefully Patricia can save a pretty penny if she can get a discount. 
So, why don't you start by telling me a little bit about your vision for your wedding, what you're imagining happening. Okay, well, I would love to have something just simple, modern, classy, and it would be fantastic if it could have a beachy element to it. So, you're thinking, like, seashells? Here, let me show stuff. you. Oh, you brought some stuff. I brought some stuff. Perfect. Oh, yeah. So, we got awesome. a whole bunch of goodies. Okay. There's the shells you mentioned. Okay. White sand. Everything that the beach has. Yeah. Do you have any bling in that bag? If not, then it won't make Leonard happy. What are your colors? I wish I could tell you. Oh. <laughs> but I don't know. Okay, so, so let's go with white then, because white is really uh, simple. It goes with everything. It yeah. goes with everything. How's that? That is nice. That I actually really, really like. How much is it? We could do it for 15. Beautiful. Done. How many tables do you have? 20, I think. 20. So if we do 20 at 15. That's like what, three hundred dollars? Three hundred bucks. bucks. Everything. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Yeah, but is it gonna fit? You have to. Okay, you have to think about Len. Okay, Len's really over the top, like oh, over the top. Yeah. And you know it's gonna be like big in your face. So this is not like big in your face. Come on. What's your budget? He gave me a thousand dollars, but he's a thousand? crazy. Yeah. Oh, he's we can crazy. do way more with a thousand. Can we? Need a thousand. Yes. So let's try something tall, and we can keep the elements that you like, the beach okay. stuff but we'll just do it with a little bit more okay. pizzazz. But this bride isn't into pizzazz. That's the groom's style. So do you see yeah, how this yeah. is still simple? And it's big. But yeah, but it takes up a lot more space. It'll probably fit in a lot better with what his, what, what, what he's planning. The knowing Leonard, he probably will do big and over the top and I don't want to have a little dinky centerpiece that people are going to be like, why that sticks out and doesn't match. All right, so now, how much is this one? Usually, if I was doing it for someone yeah. that just walked in off the street, I would charge at least 150. Ooh, okay. But I could probably do it for about 55, okay. which is an amazing deal. Just, it's only 100 over budget. I know, but if I go over budget, I can't end up yelling at Leonard for going over his. Yeah. <laughs> Don't worry, Patricia. You may have another reason or two to yell at Leonard before this wedding is over. I have a bunch of these vases. Okay. So what I could do is I could rent them to you. Okay. Which means we'd get down to 40 just for the labor and the wholesale cost of the flowers. Okay. Which I would only do for you. That puts me at 800. That's yeah, actually completely doable. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. I really love the way the centerpiece has turned out. I mean, now I know at least there'll be one thing at the wedding I really, really like. And above all, I didn't even have to blow the budget for them, which is something Leonard is probably doing I mean, I don't even know if he's taking this planning or the budget seriously. Patricia, do you doubt Leonard is taking this seriously? With only one week until the wedding, he must have everything under control. He even has enough time to relax with his brothers. Come on, it's your shot. Get off the phone. Hold on, it's the wedding planner. Leonard, it's David. How are you feeling? I'm doing great. Me and my brothers are just out playing some pool. You gonna shoot? Let me do a quick checklist with you just to, because I have, I'm Mr. List. We have cake flowers, the dress is done, and we're good to go. I can just put this file away. No, we don't have the dress. We were going to go get that in a couple of days. You know, just go to the store and pick up a dress off the rack. Uh, I can't tell if you're kidding, because I can't see you. Do you or do you not have the dress? No, we were going to go in a couple of days to get the dress. It's not such a big thing that we have to worry about. How do I tell you this is an emergency, the size of which is going to cause me to have to, like, cancel my entire day tomorrow and go dress shopping with you because this is not something that we can leave till the last minute? I'm confident, David. I know my bride. So don't worry. Everything's under control. Okay. I'm, I'm not going to worry, but I am going to see you tomorrow, and we are going to buy the dress tomorrow. Yes. I don't know why David's so freaked out. I mean, all you got to do is go into the store, get a dress, and take it home. I don't know why David's so freaked out. I cannot believe that you left this till the last oh, minute. Just Mary, relax. this is our groom, Leonard, and he thinks Hi. that wedding dresses aren't important. Hi. Awesome. Go have a look. Let me know if you need any help. Now, when I say they're important, I don't mean like they're important, like, oh, it's important what we eat for lunch today. Like, David, you're rambling. I'm. There's I, lots of dresses here. Relax. It's Let's the, pick a dress and be done with it. It is not that hard. It is not that easy. Oh, Leonard, David's been on you for months to find a dress, and now you're only a week away from the big day. Do you value your life? 
My wedding dress to me is very important. It's representing me. I have to wear it all day long. What I'm picturing is something very simple, no layers, no beading, no fluff, definitely no tulle. And it's really important that Leonard picks something out along those lines because I'm going to have to look at this dress in all my pictures for the rest of my life. And I don't want to be putting on a fake smile pretending that I actually like the dress. What do you think about this one? <laughs> a little bit of this, and it's big. <laughs> Patricia may need to put her fake smile on, if this is the choice. Uh, Mary? Yes? Um, could you just let us know the availability of this dress? Uh, you need about four to six months to get it shipped. Four to what? Four to six months. Four, oh, wow. A groom dress shopping? Need I say more? That's exactly what I'm trying to tell you. It's ordered from countries that are not here, and they make them for you, and they send it to you, and then this but is But it's in your hand. This is a sample that 17,000 girls have tried on. It's not in her size, and it's not something that Patricia would wear down okay, the aisle. Well, I'll just pick another one. OK, how about okay, this one? OK, a lot of thought went into that choice. Good. You need about four to six months. This one. Four to six months. Well, how about this one? Four to six months. Leonard. Let me guess. Four to six months. See? You're getting it. What we can do is we do have a local company that can brush a dress in for her. For extra money. Yes, obviously. <laughs> That's OK. Let's just see what we, we got here. Do you want to see the two options Let's you got? Let's see. Come on. OK, so you got this option is one. Oh, my god. Wow. Well, that's nice. <laughs> nice? Yeah, I don't know what's wrong with it. It's. It's like a farewell to her dress, maybe. That's it, farewell to her single life. Or farewell to you, Leonard. Farewell Look, wow, to... that's oh, beautiful. Oh, my gosh. OK, well, this is your first option. You do have another option. <gasps> oh, I love it. It's I perfection. Don't. What is wrong with this dress? It just doesn't do it. It's doesn't too do timeless, it it's too classic, it's too simple, it's too perfect for her body, it's if too... If you say so, but it's not what I want. It's too plain. How much is it? This dress is 1000 plus the rush cut. A thousand dollars plus a rush cut, or how much for this one? That one's five thousand. This is what I want. Maybe you like this dress more. Maybe you have some kind of crazy fantasy of marrying some crazy fairy princess something who's like eight feet tall that could like lift that off the floor. She's not that girl. You got a petite, gorgeous, simple, timeless, beautiful bride who deserves a dress that matches her personality. This is that dress. You have to trust me. Fine, but if she doesn't like it, it's on your head, not mine. We'll take this dress. OK. Don't let anyone else take this, OK? This is our dress. Okay. Are we driving home together? I hope not. Coming up. So what, I had to spend a little bit more money. You're happy, and I'm happy. Well, I don't know if I'm that happy. I don't happy. know if I'm happy. See? David, you're happy. I would definitely trust Michael to pick up my wedding dress. He has fantastic taste. It's better than mine in all fashion and design aspects. I trust his taste thoroughly. And yet you wouldn't let me choose the blinds for the living room. <laughs> Our groom Leonard has been going for broke, literally, for his glitz-themed wedding. He's chosen the flowers, jewelry, cake, and entertainment, among other things, and was fully confident he could pull off all his plans. But one misstep almost left his bride without a dress. There's I... lots of dresses here. Relax. It's Let's the... pick a dress and be done with it. It is not that hard. It is not that easy. On top of this, Leonard's spending may put him and his bride Patricia in the poorhouse, despite the $5,000 budget bonus. Even though Leonard picked out my dress, it still needed to be altered to make sure it fit. I was so nervous, and I kept wondering whether the $5,000 budget boost was really worth it. Patricia, relax. You stress about everything. OK, now, how do you feel? I must have been insane when I agreed to do this. This is torture, you know, torture. It must be really hard. Yeah. Because for, for that $5,000 budget boost, you gave up all control. And one of the things you gave up control on was your dress. Get this. Yeah. What I'm wearing. Yeah. So if it's going to give you peace of mind to see it, then we can do that. Or we keep the blindfold on, we fit it, and it's a surprise on the day. Patricia, do it. Alex, yeah, you think I should do it? I think you should. You think Even I if should? she doesn't like it? Even if she doesn't like it, she has no choice now. Who are we kidding? I need to see this dress. You sure? I'm sure. Okay. okay. This is what Leonard thinks you should be married in. Okay. Go ahead. So I can take. Yep. Okay. Go for it. He actually picked this, David. He actually, trust me, it's a miracle. But yes, he picked it. Way to make Leonard look like a hero. I'm, I'm shocked because. 
I actually like it. Oh, okay. <laughs> and once it fits, yeah, fits. it's a little bit big up here. Yeah, yeah. She's gonna wow. make that fit like a glove, and okay. And uh, that's how Leonard would want it. <laughs> Holy just, salt! Aren't you so glad you looked? I am. Oh, I can sleep at night now. I can sleep at night. Yay. Oh my goodness! I'll have to go give him a high five. I hope he gets more than a high five. <laughs> Now that I've had a taste of Leonard's decision making, I'm not sure what to think still. I don't know if this is an actual representation of what he's doing or if this just was a complete fluke. David called us in for a meeting to discuss our budget and Leonard's spending. That can only mean bad news. I make money, I spend money. What's the big deal? I'm here for a reality check. And the reality check is when we go back through the budget that we set and we determine when we're over and when we're under. The dress, we're just a little bit over. I, I do love the dress. You did a really good job on that. And why is it slightly over budget? If it wasn't for that silly rush fee, I would have been on budget. You waited until you needed to pay a rush fee to get my dress? But you like the dress, don't you? Yeah, 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 yeah. I like the dress, but don't avoid the subject. So what? I had to spend a little bit more money. You're happy, and I'm happy. Well, I don't know if I'm that I happy. I don't know if I'm happy. Same? David, you're happy. OK, he's happy. Jewelry, four times the budget. <gasps> Quadruple the budget. I thought jewelry makes women happy. It does, but... Uh... And more is better, is it not? Not if it's making you bankrupt. Yeah, exactly. Sure. It's not making me bang, it's fine. When you put it on, you're gonna be happy. Sure, I'll be the best dressed bum on the street. But look at the bright side. It's better than being the worst dressed bum on the street. Where do you think we are with the cake? Why don't you guess, Patricia? I'm gonna go over, because it seems to be the trend. Ding, 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 ding. Oh, there's a shock. I wanna serve my people good cake. And good cake costs money. How the people don't even eat the cake? Then there's more for me to take home. How much cake could you possibly eat? A lot. I believe that's how Marie Antoinette felt about cake. And look what happened to her. So next item, centerpieces. That was your item. And that's where do right. we stand on that? We are under budget. I give you all that money for centerpieces and you went under budget? Yeah. It better not make my decor look terrible. They yeah. are beautiful, OK? The rest of the money is in the bank. And guess what? We can use it for something for the house, which we'll be living in, which will be there for more than one day. I think you will be spending it on the debt that you've incurred. Does this face look like a face of a person that's worried? This one does. Coming up. Oh, OK. OK. <laughs> OK. OK. Oh. Walking down the aisle, I, I didn't recognize Marion at first. Well, that's not true, of course, but. I had a lot of makeup on. Yes, she had a friend do her makeup, I guess, the morning Looked of. Looked great in the pictures, though. But, yes, it did. Yes, it did. The wedding of Leonard and Patricia is quickly approaching. Since Leonard has been planning the wedding without Patricia's input, she has no idea what to expect on her big day. But she has no doubts that Leonard's big ideas will come with a big price tag. I thought jewelry makes women happy. It does, but... Uh... And more is better, is it not? Not if it's making you bankrupt. Yeah, exactly. Was this all worth it for the $5,000 budget boost the couple received? We won't know till the wedding winds down. The morning of the wedding, I couldn't wait to see you. I just wanted to show you everything that I've been planning for so long. I mean, if you loved it, I loved it. I just wanted to get the show on the road. How are you feeling? Oh, God, I'm terrified. <laughs> it'll be a good day. It's your day. It better be. And it it'll go well. It better be. Oh, my gosh. It better go well. For your sake or for Leonard's? There we go. It took me 20, 20 years to figure out how to do this, but we got it. Good. Thanks. <laughs> Listen, you guys look amazing. Amazing. So are you nervous or what, Leonard? You think you're gonna put your like everything you bought or what? Adrian, hey, I'm not worried about anything. I know she's gonna love everything. I did a great job. Well, you're confident, because I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I get. Hello. Hello. Hi, David. She's beautiful. Mwah. Turn and face me for two seconds. OK. Hi, everybody. Hi. Happy wedding morning. How do you feel? Like a train wreck. Like a train wreck? Why? I'm nervous as anything. Okay, but Come you on. look amazing, which is all that matters. Right? I have some surprises for you. Uh, From Leonard, it's okay. our first surprise of the day. Pick a hand. Right left. Or left. Left? Left. Let me see this. Oh, okay. Oh. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Oh. Feel it. Wow. Wow. Look at that. Oh, wow. Come on! Oh. Come on, Patricia. You did good. <laughs> good. You did good. Nice bling bling. You picked those all 
by himself. Wow, he he did good. Okay, that's one. Okay. Here's two. Woo! like a normal what box, is... yeah. Oh my. Do you know what it is? Oh, wow. it's a headband? Yes, it's a headband. Oh my god. Is it, oh, wow. Look at these it together. It matches perfectly. Look Holy at that. smokes. And this it's... is... Isn't that amazing? It is beautiful. So what do you think? How did he do? I think he did very good. Number one. I know very it's going to be expensive good, but he yeah, did really, really good. He really... <laughs> expensive good. He really... At least it isn't expensive bad. Leonard's bling hit the mark. This is what Leonard picked to marry his bride in. Come on down, Patricia. Oh, my oh. God. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Nice and Thank you. No, not at all. You did a good job. Wow. You did. Yeah. My sunglasses. Yeah, really. Actually turning out better than I expected from Leonard. <laughs> and, and one more surprise. And that's your bouquet. Okay. What do you think? Oh. Oh. And the bling. Oh. Wow. And there's crystals in this too. Seems like Leonard's decision to forego the blue roses for a sprinkling of sparkle has Patricia seeing the light. Don't He's cry. doing everything no. right so <laughs> far. No, no, no. Okay. No cry. No cry. I can't cry. Not allowed. Hello? Hello, David. How's it going? It's Leonard. Leonard, how are you? I'm fine. How are you? Happy wedding morning. How do you feel? I feel great. Awesome. I'm a little bit nervous to hear how she reacted. She loves it all. To tell you the truth, she's she's really pleased with you. Very good. That makes me happy. OK. So thanks for checking in. Um, I think I see you next at the church. All right. I'll see you soon. See you soon. I couldn't stop smiling when I saw Patricia coming down the I mean, she looked like an angel. And you look so handsome up there. Well, <laughs> you damn right I did. Take your consent and feel you more peaceful in the things, but for your night. Do you take Patricia to be your wife? I do. Patricia, do you take Leonard to be your husband? I do. Congratulations. Coming up. You know where you are? Ooh, uh, a banquet hall. How do you feel about that? I like that. Yeah? I like that. It's what's inside that counts, remember? Okay. okay. Yeah, that's the... <laughs> he had... Um, a color-coded accordion file. Every aspect of the wedding was in there and all the contacts I needed. So if I needed to know anything, I'd go straight to this accordion file. Well, you have to be organized. Patricia and Leonard have now tied the knot, and so far he's succeeded in getting a big bang for their buck, which pleases his bride. But there are still a few surprises in store for the reception. He's doing everything right so far. No, no, no. No crying. No crying. No crying. I can't cry. Not allowed. Will Leonard's budget stay on track? Or will the glam celebration blind Patricia to the bottom line? Everything was going well. So far, so Yay, good. Yay, we were married. But I still had plenty of surprises for Patricia. She hadn't seen nothing yet. I was so nervous. I had no idea what the reception looked like. Do you know where you are? Ooh, uh, a banquet hall. How do you feel about that? I like that. Yeah? I like that. It's what's inside that counts, remember? Okay. okay? Yeah, that's the... <laughs> Ready? <laughs> well, Patricia, what do you think? Oh, <laughs> she's falling. Holy. Is that gonna pass? Smokes. Wow. I mean, there wow, is Wow well good or wow well bad? Wow, amazing. Wow, like, amazing. I did a good job. Holy shiitake mushrooms. Not bad for a wedding planner that just started, eh? We have a new uh -huh. assistant. Yes, we do. I may be eating see? some of my previous Look words. At this. Look, it's a bling. I kind of noticed that Let's was see. your theme. Let's yeah. See the bracelet. Uh huh. Wow. See? You knocked it out of the park on this one. I think Patricia has forgotten that he most likely has knocked their budget out as well. 
take a look at my centerpieces. It looks pretty good with the rest of the decor, so I have to say you did a good job with that one. Thank you. I told you I didn't need all that money to make it beautiful. Come take a look at another surprise. Okay. Ta-da! Wow, even more bling. Did you put bling everywhere? What do you think of the cake topper? Oh my gosh, I love it. The monogram cake topper was a nice touch that spelled success. So I did a good job. You did better than a great job. You did an amazing job. Thank you. It's almost like my birthday, I get a big present. That's right, I got the best present. I got you. You better believe it. With the bride's approval, it was now time to let loose and cut the cake. And time for Leonard to reveal his last surprise. The Showgirls. Leonard really, really did an amazing job on this wedding. I actually didn't think he would be able to pull it off, sorry to say, but you know what? This is everything I could have asked for and more. It really was the wedding of my dreams. You made me happy. You're welcome. Thank you. You deserve it. I know. He may deserve a kiss, but will the bills at the end be the ultimate kiss-off? Even with the $5,000 budget boost, did Leonard manage to stay on budget? The original budget we gave David was $35,000. With the additional $5,000 budget boost, the total was $40,000. I was worried that Patricia had control of the centerpieces, that she was going to mess up my theme of my wedding. But it turns out they were amazing. The total cost was $800. I wore so much ice on the day of my wedding that people needed sunglasses to see me. The pieces were beautiful but it hurts to say that they cost $890. The cake looked amazing. The monogram worked out well. The total cost was $1,050. My dress was perfect. It was modern and had no poof. I loved it. It was $1,200. Showgirls were a lot of fun. They really brought a lot of energy to the party. Their fee was only $1,400. I felt so much better knowing that David was there to help Leonard. His fee was $3,000. The venue worked out amazing. It totally fit my Vegas style theme. There was lots of bling, lots of bright colors. The total cost of the venue with food, alcohol, and decor was $30,850. Miscellaneous costs including rings, DJ, transportation, photography, videography, specialty lighting, and guest favors came out to $23,219. What we actually spent on the wedding was $62,409. Even with the budget boost, we were over by $22,409. I can't believe you almost doubled our budget. Even with the budget boost. The cake had sparkle, the bride was beaming, and the showgirls dazzled. The only question left is, after all his wedding planning, did Leonard get a leg up? I guess you can say we met uh, at a friend's cottage. Fun times? Yeah. It was a good time. Best day of your life. Wow. <laughs> Stephen is the only man for me. He's the only person who has ever taken my breath away. Simply said. Okay, I'll take that. <laughs>